Whether they're kicking ass or chewing bubblegum, these guys and gals are bound to make you crack up. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for another top 10 funniest video game characters. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we've chosen video game characters guaranteed to split your sides. However, we're only taking characters originating from video games and only one per franchise. If you don't see a character you think should be on this list, be sure to check out our first list on this same topic. Number 10, Duke Nukem, Duke Nukem series. Now this is a force to be reckoned with. Hail to the king, baby. The parody of various action movies, this violent, gun-toting one-man army has a one-liner for nearly every situation. Showing off his massive muscles and wearing sunglasses at night, Duke Nukem often stumbles across dead heroes from films and video games scattered throughout his adventures, probably because they couldn't make it in his world. When he isn't dishing out post-mortem burns on these wannabes, Duke is killing his alien foes with style. Even as a guest character in Bulletstorm, Duke will nuke them all and make a wisecrack while doing it. Try and lay low until- going anywhere. Running is for pussies. Should have stayed in bed, shit eater. Number nine, Greg the Grim Reaper conquers Bat Fur Day. Yes, you yes, boy, boy, you're dead. 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 You, are you are dead. dead. While Conquer is also good for some funny moments, we have to give this spot to Death himself. Despite being the Grim Friggin' Reaper, Greg looks and sounds adorable as soon as he steps out of the shadows. Right. Hello. Um. My name's Greg, the Grim Reaper. Don't laugh. When the sarcastic squirrel dies, Greg explains to Conquer that he's one of those special cases that can come back from the dead. With a tiny build and a high-pitched voice, Greg will get more than a few giggles out of players. It's when his grouchy nature is on full display as he rambles on about his hatred for cats and the undead that will nearly have them dying laughing. Right, that's it. Piss off. I've got some cats to see. Bloody things. I hate those bloody cats. The way they meow and they piss everywhere. And they sh Number eight, Minsk, Baldur's Gate series. Minsk will be free. These bonds will not hold my wrath. Butts will be liberally kicked in good measure. Who doesn't love this big lug? Originally intended to fulfill his rite of passage, this tattooed ranger ends up joining your party basically from the get-go. With his thick accent and over-exaggerated tone, simple phrases can become a laugh riot. When Minsk gets into action or mentions his beloved miniature giant space hamster, Boo, the bald berserker becomes as hilarious as he is mighty. While other characters in the party are more important to the story, Minsk is the life of the party for sure. You are a smart one. I understand now. You said what you did just to get me mad. Mad enough to break free. <laughs> Number seven, Papyrus Undertale. <laughs> would think that after falling into a deep cave and battling or befriending monsters along the way, the last thing anyone need is an ambitious skeleton looking to abduct a human. As it turns out, meeting said skeleton is one of the best things in this game though. The flamboyant and stocky brother of Sans, Papyrus seeks to impress Undyne so he can join her royal guard. Befriending our human player if he isn't killed in battle, Papyrus becomes an overeager yet not all that bright ally. Whether he's friend or foe, Papyrus will still tickle your funny bone. Number six, Tao Kaka, Blaze Blue series. Meow, 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 boo -boo. booby lady, you always have such nice, comfy airbags. At first glance, Tao Kaka may look a bit scary with a face hidden under her hood, red eyes, and giant attack blades hidden under her coat. But under that frightening exterior is a hilarious combatant. As the guardian of the Kaka tribe, she is also a formidable kitty combatant. In reality, Tao is a simple-minded, innocent, and kind-hearted hero too. With her impulsive actions and insatiable hunger, she often finds herself in comedic situations. She's actually managed to make a lot of friends during the series, but has a hard time remembering what their names are, often giving them easy-to-remember nicknames instead. What's a mercenary? Is it delicious? Meow! Can you eat it? Give Tao some mercenaries right now! Number five, Captain Quark, 
Ratchet and Clank series. So I thought we could start with the whole I did my own stunts angle and sort of rolled into my method for accomplishing this brooding stare. Recognized as the premier hero of the Solana galaxy, Copernicus Quark in actuality is a cowardly, egomaniacal dimwit who loves money and fame. This attitude actually made him a villain in the first two games, believe it or not. From then on though, he's been on the side of good and has helped our hero save the day several times, even becoming galactic president at one point. While no longer evil, Quark's cowardly and glory-seeking traits are still definitely present. It's kinda easy to feel guilty laughing at his selfish behavior, but it makes the times he gets his comeuppance all the worth it. Even after all he's done, it's hard to hate this square-jawed goof. I'm sorry, I thought we were here to talk about my new hollow film, My Blaster Runs Hot. I mean, I wouldn't even be able to tell a story without some sort of visual. Do you have any crayons? Number 4. GLaDOS. Portal Series. How have you been? I've been really busy being dead. Wait a second, are you saying that there's no cake? This is just one of the many transgressions of the AI of Aperture Science. While she starts out as a near flawless robotic instructor, soon the facade fades and her true, needy, spiteful, and sociopathic personality reveals itself. Her deluded nature of blaming her issues on Chell, mixed with her quick-witted barbs, draws out plenty of laughs from players. Even when GLaDOS sings, she's pretty full of herself. He's not just a regular moron. He's the product of the greatest minds of a generation, working together with the express purpose of building the dumbest moron who ever lived. Number 3. Claptrap Borderlands Series Wait a minute! You're not dead! Yes! Now I can get off this glacier! Claptrap, your metaphorical ship has finally come in! The CL4P-TP series are tiny robots that were meant to assist the people of Pandora. That was their intended purpose, but they had issues with their artificial intelligence. The sole surviving claptrap, as of Borderlands 2, is mainly known to ramble, think out loud, and generally be a liability in battle. With an always upbeat voice, the little guy really can't seem to catch much of a break, as he's seen with disdain by most of the people on Pandora and is hilariously maimed on more than one occasion. He may get knocked down and outmatched, but the humor he brings to the series makes up for it. Most part. Oh, Nobody's ever put me in charge of something so expensive! You, sir, are almost certainly going to regret this! Number 2. Sheo Gorath, The Elder Scrolls series. I'm so happy I could just tear out your intestines and strangle you with them! <laughs> The Daedric Prince of Madness and the ruler of by far the strangest realm of oblivion, the Shivering Isles, Sheogorath is also known as the Mad God, for good reason. He was once the Jigalag, the Daedric Prince of Order, before the other Daedric Princes decided that he was too powerful and cursed him to a life of madness. Having a loose grip on reality, he will often make some ludicrous and hilarious statements. Plus, he's known for his love of all things cheese. Sheogorath is madder than a mere hatter, and one of the most memorable characters in the whole Elder Scrolls series. You are the best septum that's ever ruled. Well, except for that Martin fella. But he turned into a dragon god, and that's hardly sporting. Before we reveal our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Well, uh, better you than me. Say goodnight, Jack. This party's getting crazy. Let's rock. Number 1. HK-47, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic series Answer. Many organic meatbags find that question difficult to answer, Master, but I believe I can provide you with a satisfactory definition. Meatbags beware, or this efficient assassin droid will kill you with his sick burns, or most likely burns from his blaster fire. Intended to translate alien languages after being purchased by the protagonist in KOTOR, HK is really a trigger-happy psychopath who has little to no remorse for who he kills. Similar to GLaDOS, this is another case of a robot's lack of empathy and murderous nature being played for laughs. For those who don't fully embrace the light side, HK may make a player's turn to the dark side all the more enjoyable. Yet for me, love is knowing your target, putting them in your targeting reticle, and together achieving a singular purpose against statistically long odds. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.